Now, the next purchase to make in your 20s is in your style. And I know a lot of people think that, you know, spending money on clothing is useless. I don't agree. Like, look, your clothing and your style and your fashion says so much about you. So my recommendation to everyone is go get at least one tailored suit and you can get it from somewhere cheap, you know, a place like Suit Supply. You know, you can get a full suit and then it's tailored. Look, it's not going to be a bespoke suit or anything, but you can get something off the rack, you know, tailored. You're going to get the full thing for you know, as low as four or $500 up to, I think some of theirs go up to six, 700, depending on whatever customizations and stuff you make. But to me, that is a pretty cheap suit. And I have a lot of good friends of mine that could afford five to $10,000 suits and they still only shop at Suit Supply because the quality is great there. You know, once you start making a bit of money, go take a thousand dollars and rather than spending it on just some stupid Louis Vuitton or Dior or any of these big, bold brands that just make you quite frankly look like, like, I'm just going to be honest, those brands, when you've got big brand names, Gucci and Louis Vuitton or like Balenciaga, it's just so obvious that one of two things, either you're someone that is lower to middle class that is wanting to appear rich. And that's just what it is. I'm being honest. And by the way, when I say this, this is coming from someone who grew up with a single mom, extremely poor. And, you know, I wish I could say, I was just a genius and I had tons of motivation growing up. No, like I'll be honest, I started my businesses out of pure desperation to try to take care of me and my mom. So when I say this stuff, I'm not trying to judge you. I was there. So it's either that or someone who makes a lot of money, but they're just not confident in themselves. So they feel like they need to have these big brands and everything, you know, to validate that other people know that they have money. Rather than doing that, go to some good brands, go get, you know, your essentials, go get a few nice t-shirts that fit really well on you. Go find some trousers, make sure they're not too too skinny, you know, rather than jeans, get some trousers and then go and get that to a tailor. Most people don't realize, but you know, to get items tailored, it can cost you anywhere from, you know, $20, $30, maybe $40. I would much rather have, you know, rather than a $400 article of clothing that hasn't been tailored and fitted correctly. I'd much rather have a $50 article of clothing and spend $30 on tailoring. You need to understand that in order to have a incredible wardrobe that just sits well as classic as timeless, it really doesn't actually cost you that much money. And the great thing is that Gucci shirt, which is cool this year in three years, that won't be cool. Whereas when you buy timeless items, you can use them for the rest of your life. Now, you might be wondering, you know, why am I saying all this stuff? The reason I say this is because you are treated differently depending on the way that you're dressed. Look, your confidence will go through the roof when you are dressed well, when you present yourself well to the world.